Uh, and um, this is a live feed of the celebratory mood after Ardek has just declared Loki Ayodatiwa APC governorship candidate in the just concluded Ondo governorship election as the winner of the Ondo 2024 governorship election. And according to the results uh, just announced by the state's returning officer, Professor Olayemi Akimumi, Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Lokoja Kogi State. APC garnered 366,781, uh, while the PDP garnered 117,845. The ZLP garnered 2,692, while Labour Party 1,162, and the SDP with 438. Watching a live feed of the celebratory mood from where the governor of the state, Loki Ayedatiwa, and other governors of the APC are at it. So that's it. The winner has been announced. APC governorship candidate, who is incumbent governor of Undo State, Loki Ayedatiwa, has just been announced. And look at, I mean, the support from other governors. How significant is this? Well, very significant. Um, you know, there's this solidarity um, issue, and um, all of them are there uh, to support one of their own. It has become a tradition. See, it has become, it has become a tradition. Yes, yeah, you see, most state government, you see that of Lagos State, Bonus State National governor. chairman of the party. Yeah, national chairman of the party. And other governors, as I said, it has become the norm. Uh, don't forget that during the campaign, during the last campaign also, by the party, most of them were there, yeah. just as they were in Edo State. The governors of um, the PDP were also at the last rally by the PDP before, a few days before the election. So. There's always this uh, celebration and solidarity. So, congratulations to the winner, uh, Governor Ayedatiwa, who, as a match, um, just as Mayor said, now we can discuss it. So, it's not that. <laughs> but whether the issue is whether one is surprised, I would say I'm, uh, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm not surprised by what we have seen. The only surprising thing for me is that. The APC was able to clear all the local, local, local government. government. Yes, about 18 of them. And the, I was shocked that even the local government of the PDP uh, uh, um, candidate, uh, in the person of uh, Mr. Agbola. But the PDP uh, candidate uh, seems strong. Yes, I'm saying. I say he was, he was a former deputy governor. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that he has gone through so many processes. At the last election, he was the governorship candidate of another party, not the PDP. I think it was ZLP or so that like he was last. I can't remember which one now. Now he has moved, he now moved to PDP. But even PDP in, this, uh, in that state, they are nowhere united. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of division. What, we have, what the APC had going for them is that, despite the challenges they had after the primaries, because they, had, they also had serious issues. You remember vividly what happened with um, the, the senator, where is it now? Jimmy Ibrahim. Jimmy Ibrahim. Jimmy oh, Ibrahim. Okay. Yeah, okay. you're okay. Especially Jimmy Ibrahim. It was even Jimmy Ibrahim. But Jimmy Ibrahim was, was that same yeah, that area. Same, yeah, that same area. And he, he vehemently opposed the candidature of the governor uh, as, the, as the candidate of the party. But uh, the party were able to manage it. about the process yeah. and not the candidate. Yes, no, the, the process. But is there a process without the candidate? Yes. So the fact remains that. But the APC was able to put their ass together. And those, uh, those within the hierarchy of APC were able to call him and say, can you just let um, this, this, can we just let it go? So they can talk about that. Is, and they were able to come together and put their ass together. And they supported, that's, they and supported that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, what what that's not the same thing with people. The worst, the worst for me is the <laughs> Labour Party. Because I thought that the Labour Party, don't forget that the Labour Party has produced a former governor in Ondo State, in the person of um, Shego Mimiko. He was a former governor, in fact, two-time governor of Ondo State, on that, pa that party. And you expect that party. But the problem is that up to the day, a day before, the party, nobody even knows who the, um, the candidate of the Labour Party was, because there was a court, court of appeal judgment that came in just a few hours before the election, which now set aside the person that we are talking about. All right, Chris, uh, I'll come back to you. Let's take reactions from some of the governors speaking at the moment. To congratulate my brother, my friend, the executive governor of Ondo State, 
Excellency Loki Aida to our mission for his people giving him another mandate to run this state for another four years and really to thank all of ourselves, you know, for supporting him, for supporting Mr. President, to thank our party, the APC, that is here led by our national chairman, um, Dr. Um, Maru Ganduje, you know, for the support and the leadership they continue to show as a party, to continue to ensure that, you know, all of the programs and objectives of the party are will take it care of, and to show people that when you work very hard, your people have a way of demonstrating their support for you, and that's what has happened here today. It's one in all of the 18 local governments of the state, and is indeed recorded as, you know, a landslide victory for him and for the people of Ondo State. For me, it's just an assignment that we're grateful that the party has given us the opportunity to serve it once again, and we're continue to do the very best at all times. Thank you. Well, thank you. There's no doubt this is a moment of joy. Seeing is believing, and this is democracy in action. But what is more important is that all the major stakeholders in conducting this election believe that the election is free, fair, and credible. Especially INEC, who provided the logistics arrangement, the power arrangement, and especially the security agencies, especially the police, the DSS, the civil defense, the military, and also the media, both print and electronic media, who presented actual what actually happened on the ground, and also the international organizations, international observers, the civil societies, even the community-based organizations, almost everybody believes that this election is free, fair, and credible. And what is important to the people of Ondo State is that since they elected APC, they elected our candidate, they have elected for continuity because there will be continuity in governance. There will be no abandonment of projects. There will be sustainability of programs and projects. And I congratulate for that. I congratulate the candidate himself because it's a product that is sellable and we are lucky that we have succeeded in selling him to the members of the public. We have to congratulate Mr. President for providing an enabling environment to be avoided influencing or subterranean influence in this election. Therefore, we have to congratulate him for that. Our next target now in this geopolitical zone, the southwest geopolitical zone, our next target, and you know we are good in hitting the target, that is Ocean State and Oyo State. We assure you, we will do all what is possible to bring them into the fold so that we have homo political homogeneity in the southwest geopolitical zone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.